ADHD and iron, this is something that I wish I would have known, but if you have low iron, ADHD is a struggle for you and you need to start taking iron. That's when ADHD meds don't even work to their fullest extent if you're not taking iron and have the right amount in your system. And the reason is, is as iron is directly related to our production of dopamine. And if you don't know what dopamine is, that's the chemical that our brain produces, the neurotransmitter that allows us to focus, that gives us the motivation, that gives us the direction, quiets the voices, that allows us to function as a normal human being. And one of the big problems is a lot of people out there have an iron deficiency and you don't even know it and so one of the things is, is yes your brain is not producing dopamine like it normally should on its own so taking an ADHD med you have to take a higher dose of it to get that dopamine into your system to try and function like a normal human being and this is something that I wish I would have known because it's so important to be taking vitamins when it comes to ADHD because a lot of these vitamins it's not all about just being healthy it, it, it helps your brain it's proven to help your brain uh, so when you are taking ADHD meds if you're struggling you're on a really high high dose, man, maybe you do have an iron deficiency, definitely get tested for it. This is why it's really important to work with psychiatrists. They're the ones that prescribe meds that specialize in ADHD. Doctors who don't specialize in ADHD don't go into different testing to find out, hey, how's your iron? How's your zinc levels? All of this. And to even explain to you, hey, let's add these supplements and vitamins into your daily routine. And this can make a huge difference. And guess what? You don't need as much medication then. And that's what it's all about. So if you haven't talked to your doctor about iron, start taking iron. You'll notice a difference. It's amazing what happens. I got diagnosed ADD at 13, re-diagnosed ADHD at 17. And the more that we share this information, the more that we share what we've learned and been through, the more that it helps anybody out there struggling. And that's what it's all about.